teacher and kula means family. So guru kula is you send the children to be educated by the guru. That's why in the world you have words like skola. Kola means family of the guru. Escuela, school. Nobody knows what it means. It actually comes from the ancient word guru kula. To send the children to the guru to be educated. Obviously education is also a Sanskrit word. Dukkha means suffering. Sukha means happiness. But dukkha means suffering. From there you have the English word decay, when Latin decaer, decadencia. So dukkha means suffering. Educa means to eradicate suffering. But nowadays we think the education is to put more weight, more matter, more materialistic nature. So like this is not education. Education is to first understand what is absolute and what is relative. So all these items that have been presented is for also the relative happiness of the couple. They need a household, they need children, they need dresses, the cloth, a wall, some facilities, some food. But this is the relative happiness. It's a happiness that has a beginning and an end. But from that platform, from this relative, can appear the absolute. The absolute is not possible in this world. We cannot have eternal happiness here because everything is changing. Even matter is also eternal. Water is eternal, air is eternal, but it's eternally changing. So because we are in this world with this constant movement, we cannot have permanent happiness. So this is a relative world, but it exists the absolute world. We as spirits, we don't change. We have been in the same body as children, now they are young and they're ready to embark in marriage, but they also will come to this old age. I'm very happy to be an old age because it means I'm closing to the exit and I'm very eager to exit. But meanwhile I'm here, I want to also share with what have we experienced in this Krishna consciousness. Krishna consciousness is not a religion. Krishna consciousness is a state of consciousness. Krishna consciousness means to be God conscious. First we have to be conscious and then we are God conscious. It's like you're conscious where the door is. You're conscious where is your belongings. You're conscious where is your home. Consciousness is necessary. But God consciousness, to know where he is and how to go back home, that is called Krishna consciousness. So it's not a religion. It's not an artificial imposition in the mind. It's the natural state inside the heart we are all looking for happiness. We are all looking for eternity. We are all looking for knowledge. We are searching these three things. We all want to be happy. Even the end want to be happy. The end don't want to die, the same as us. The end want to be eternal. But in this world, it's impossible. We cannot get these things. Not with Trump, not with Angela Merkel, not with any leader. We cannot get it through materialism, we cannot get it to capitalism, nor by socialism. This happiness is relative. So we want the couples to understand the relativity of these temporary things, especially the body, and to focus more into the spiritual goals. That's where the training starts with Gurukula. If they have this foundation, if the children get this spiritual foundation, then men are have consciousness that the goal is spiritual. So then men goes where to go and the wife wants to follow him and the children want to follow the parents. But if the men don't go where to go, then the woman also becomes a little bit distracted and sometimes very frustrated with marriage because what is the goal of working? What is the goal of existing? What is the goal? What is the ultimate end? We all gonna have a destiny, but what destiny we are choosing? choosing to revolt in this same world again and again, or we can exit this ruse or this labyrinth of material existence. So that's why this ceremony is very important, because it shows that these items like gold, silver, cloth, all these are gifts of the Supreme. The Supreme and His energy are non-different. The energy is called Shakti, and this Shakti is our mother. That's why this nature is called matter come from a Germanic word, father and mother. Mother means mother, but we are exploiting mother, we are destroying mother, because of this nature of not respecting the female energy of the Lord. So the female energy is divine, as much as is 
the masculine energy in this world. The Lord is combination of male and female, and both are divine. So the ladies have to be treated as the divine energy of the Lord. So the boys, they treat the ladies with the same equal level of spirituality. But because the boys are taking the burden of the karma, by nature, they become the head of the family. And they become the protectors of the family. And also they have to be very attached to dharma, or to follow the path of righteousness. So I'm so thankful to Subhakshana Mahashai and my good friend, all their friends of my kids. And I perform a wonderful ceremony. And with all your presence, you even have enhanced it even more. Hey, Emily. <laughs> you didn't know you were right. They're all the way from Ecuador, my nieces, they're the cousins of my sons. What is Francis? Hey, Francis. They're all the way from Ecuador, very good. <laughs> I'm so thankful for coming. Thank you for each one of you. Please send your blessings to this young couple. This marriage is called in Sanskrit Utsava. And Utsava means that we are all going to be uplifted to a new level. It's not just for the couple. This is a festival for all of us to be situated in a new level. Ut means up or a higher. So this Utsava is for the benefit of all. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Now we're going to serve some nice prasadam that has been offered to the deity. Prasadam is always the, the, the icing on the cake. And it's a way to commune with the Lord in the form of eating. And maybe the groom wants to say something. Well, I would like that you say something. <laughs> Let's put it that way.